Mark Lobliner here with MuscleAndStrength.com. Hi, my name's Katie Lobliner. Mark and Katie Loebliner here in our humble abode, our, our actual home kitchen here with MuscleAndStrength.com. And uh, we are probably the biggest, um, well, health freaks as a couple, you can imagine. My wife doesn't compete. I compete, but yet I'm a normal person. I have a job and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make healthy protein bars. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, aren't protein bars healthy? And the bottom line is not, not really. I mean, they're a better choice. You have a choice between that McDonald's or a Snickers bar. Uh, protein bars are a better choice. But in the grand scheme of things, you're getting ready for a show. If you're really serious about your health and your physique, you definitely want more whole natural foods. Also, we have kids, and our kids, we want to give them the best, you know, head start possible in a healthy lifestyle and healthy eating. And as parents, that's our duty. So what we're gonna do here is my wife actually put together a recipe using Salvation Way oatmeal and other whole natural beautiful ingredients um, that are very good for you that will not spike your insulin and not cause any issues and if you're trying to remain healthy it gives you a good balance of healthy fats high quality protein and good low glycemic carbohydrates and also something you absolutely need and that's fruit so without further ado um, we're gonna call these Salvation easy bake protein bars I think that's good work for kids easy bake oven you like that I just made that up right now, believe it or not, you know? We actually used to just call them low binder protein bars, but we'll roll with that. So, we're gonna start by taking two and a half cups of old-fashioned oatmeal. This won't work with steel cut oats or, or those funny oats, because they're really kind of hard and, you know, they're just not gonna work. So we're gonna dump that in, we pre-measured that. And then, we're gonna rock out the Salvation Whey. We're gonna use five scoops of Salvation Whey, and we're gonna go chocolate because chocolate's good. Chicks dig chocolate, right, Katie? Yes, we do. Okay, awesome. That's um, actually why I made this protein powder to get more chicks. Um, unfortunately, I'm married, and Katie didn't like that too much, so um, she's gonna beat me later. Anyway, there's the five scoops of Salvation. <laughs> Please, spoon me. <laughs> anyway, I am a big fan of spooning, by the way. Um, there's the there's the Salvation way, so we're combining those dry ingredients, and along with those dry ingredients, as Vanna White over here passes me the cinnamon. So we're gonna throw some cinnamon in there. Cinnamon, also wonderful, wonderful for helping. Uh, see, we even have dogs in the video. See, there's there's our health, helpful assistant, Pookie. Um, yes, my dog's name is Pookie. We didn't give her that name. She was adopted, which means we're good citizens. So we got the cinnamon in there. All of the dry ingredients are combined. Now we're gonna get a little wet with it. Getting some wet ingredients. We measured out three tablespoons of all natural peanut butter. I like natural peanut butter because it doesn't have the fillers or any of the crap in that. And again, this is going in my kid's mouth. I want to make sure it's perfect. That would equal 48 grams of peanut butter if you like using food scales like we do. And I pre-measured that out. It just makes it easier. I'm gonna scrape that, get that out. And I get to lick the spoon, right? Okay, good, I need these healthy fat stuff. Peanut butter, we're not fat folks. I mean, you're gonna see a lot of tips and stuff on muscleandstrength.com where, you know, bottom line is a lot of people back in the day, the 1980s, were completely just anti-fat. And that led to this epidemic we have known as type 2 diabetes and syndrome X. So what we're doing now is we're adding healthy fats to control your insulin. It also helps with hormones and all those beautiful things and helps you keep losing weight if you're on a diet. It's a great fuel source for your body as well. And now the fun part. We are gonna go, I'm telling you, this is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S, yes it is. We mash these up. These are bananas, there's three bananas in here. Three um, medium to large bananas, I think. No, there's two large bananas. Two large bananas, sorry. My bad, two large bananas. So, I'm gonna take these bananas, can I throw my banana at you, honey? No, you need to follow the recipe. I thought I said put the bananas in. Mash them, oh. I already just... mashed them. Well, okay, <laughs> sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna mix egg whites. This Not is. in there. And he, oh, where does it say that? Oh, yeah, there it is. 
I need to read on with the sentence. Anyway, we're gonna mix, put the egg whites in here. There's three egg whites. And this isn't from the carton because those are made to measure with whole eggs. So these are three egg whites that we cracked and separated. Instead of honey, we're gonna use Splenda or, or um, sucralose. You can use honey. If you are anti-sucralose, anti-artificial sweetener, go ahead and use that honey. We want to keep the calories down for those of you on a diet controlling your calories. So if you wanted to, instead of this, um, you can use, what is it, like a tablespoon of honey or honey to, you know, to taste. It's, for, for taste. it's basically for taste, but honey also has a lot of antioxidants. If you dig the honey, rock the honey. We're going to add the vanilla and that will be one tablespoon of real vanilla. As you can see, this is pure vanilla. Not that unpure vanilla. No, 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 this is pure vanilla. So we're gonna pour this over. By the way, honey, you look very cute tonight. So there's your tablespoon of vanilla. Okay, and she's gonna mix that together. And I am gonna dump this in here. Mix the wet to the dry, slowly. Mix the wet to the dry. This is so sensual. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is great. Stir it in, baby, good job. As I'm making her dry ingredients all wet right now. What? Mixing? Mix master? Okay, I'm gonna dump it all in. Miss Impatience. Okay, there we go. And if we haven't told you before, we are preheating the oven to 350 degrees. And that's been ongoing as we've been making this. And now it says to add water to allow full mixing. It looks like it's mixing. Yeah, we don't need any water. Not at all. Okay, then we want, after she's done mixing it, what I'm gonna do is lightly spray. Do we need both of these, honey, or just one? Yeah, this size. Just this one. Um, this size. Um, this is a, hold on, we got it going on here. This is a, um, a two quart, or two liter, two quart or two liter. Um, oh wait, it's an eight by eight by two inch. <laughs> hey, watch it. And I'm gonna lightly spray it. Those of you who's ever competed, this also doubles as posing oil. <laughs> you feel like a big turkey on stage. See, that's light. Lightly sprayed. Okay, now she's gonna dump the ingredients into the Pyrex. Do you need a scraper or will that do the job? That'll do the job, good, good stuff. See, now as you notice, that looks, that looks like you've ever made Salvation way into oatmeal. It's it's really good. This looks like that except literally just completely yummified with extra egg whites and stuff. So that's how it's gonna look before it goes in the oven. Now we're gonna want to pop that in a preheated 350 degree oven. Some batches, which are more wet, may take longer. But do you think your batch is as wet as usual? More more wet or less just right? Just right. That looks that looks the perfect rightness. Yeah, you can always just cook it a little extra. And so what we're gonna do is she's gonna pop it in the oven. And not the dog, but the bars. And we're gonna rock this out. We're gonna set the timer for 15 minutes. So there you go, that's the prep time. And we're gonna come back, we're gonna see what these look like. I think it's gonna be damn tasty. It's been about 15 minutes. We checked it and the toothpick went in and came out a little bit chocolatey. And that's how you check if it's done. The toothpick comes out clean, it's done. So. Salvation protein bars. They're about to come out. It's we been about an additional, additional about five, five minutes. minutes. It's been about 20 minutes in here. And that is perfect. Now what you do to check it, honey, can you hand me a toothpick? Make sure this is done. I'm gonna put it here on our super duper high-tech stove and come in. Oh, that is clean. But as you can see here, I'm gonna lift this up for your viewing pleasure. This is how it's gonna look. It's kind of like a big cake. We're gonna cut this into bars and it's gonna taste phenomenal. Now, another thing you might wanna notice is before you take things out of the oven, use the love gloves. I always practice safe cooking. You always wanna cover it up before you take it out of the oven or put it in the oven for that matter. So this is it, the protein bars. All we gotta do is now is let it cool a little. How long do you say you gotta let it cool before cutting it into squares? about five minutes and then we're gonna cut this thing into squares and make the perfect protein bars, make them whatever size you'd like. When you're going to the gym, I'm gonna take my love gloves off. When you're going to the gym, perfect thing, put it in a little Ziploc baggie, you got yourself a perfect post-workout meal with carbs, protein, and healthy fats. So there you have it. The Healthy Protein Bars brought to you by Cyvation.